What's up everybody, Ultima Reviews here and welcome back for another video. So I'm finally back from E for Berlin, uh, the whole event was great, it's my first time there and I think it was really, really good. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of videos to upload still and uh, hopefully you guys have seen some of the smartwatch, smartphone, uh, TVs, monitors, videos that I've uploaded from the event. So this video is going to be about the Samsung Galaxy Gear VR. Now uh, this was actually, this is the first time I've ever used it. And I wasn't actually expecting it. Samsung, there wasn't uh, that much rumours about um, them releasing a VR uh, product. There were a few rumours, one or two, but it wasn't really confirmed. So no one was really expecting it until they just kind of uh, announced it on September the 3rd with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the very controversial Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. But uh, the Samsung Galaxy Gear VR is something, obviously it's my first time using it, and I have to say it was really weird and cool at the same time. So it was kind of like, obviously virtual reality, so it's kind of real. It's basically a 360 degrees um, screen, so uh, obviously you have to put the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 um, at the front, and that will act as the screen, and then you kind of just wear the VR over your head, as you guys can see, my dad in the video, uh, he actually used it while I filmed him. Uh, so you just put the VR headset over your head and you're basically entered into the virtual reality world. You can look at like 360 degrees and you're basically in the game. And it's also 3D as well, which was even cooler. So um, when I used it, I was just, I was so confused, but it was just so cool. It was nothing that I've ever seen before. And I'm pretty sure the Oculus Rift is um, exact same as that. It, it is sponsored by Oculus Rift. So I think um, uh, I think there's some Oculus Rift parts in the virtual reality headset. And obviously Oculus Rift are very popular for uh, their virtual reality headset. But it was really cool using it. I played a game, uh, I can't remember the name, but it was a simple arcade game. It had a little character and he was just kind of running forward collecting coins. Um, but when you kind of jump towards yourself, it looks as if he's coming towards you. Um, now this was really cool considering you are in the game, so all you see is the game. You look up, down, left, right. You could even turn your head around and you are turning in the game in real time. So it was just, you know, so surreal. I've never seen anything like that before. I've never used anything like that before. Um, so yeah, and also in 3D, as I mentioned, so everything was also coming towards you alongside you being in the game. So it just seemed, you know, so unreal. So if you guys remember Sony's um, personal 3D viewer, which costs um, near around a thousand pounds. That was basically uh, what Samsung have released now, except their one required much more connections and it required a receiver and it was not portable at all. Samsung have actually priced their Galaxy Gear VR at $199. So that's roughly around 140 pounds in the UK, which is fairly cheap for a virtual reality headset. But of course you will need the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which again costs like uh, 500 pounds or around 600 or to 700 dollars in the US so you will need the Note 4 to use the Galaxy Gear VR but anyway guys this has been the Samsung Galaxy Gear VR um, it's a really big shame that it's only available on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 um, so you know Samsung Galaxy S5 owners can't use it um, or anything lower and even the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 users can't use it But the Note 4 is still a really good phone So, uh, you know, I suppose if you do purchase the Note 4 uh, the Galaxy Gear VR is always open uh, to the Note 4 owners, but uh, If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and comment your thoughts on the Galaxy Gear VR I thought it was really cool <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. It was really, really cool. And, um, yeah, I want to know what you guys think. So drop a comment down below. And also hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'm still going to be bringing you guys tons of EFA Berlin coverage, even though I'm not there anymore. I've still got lots of videos on my hard drive. So I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. Have a great day, guys. Peace.